we got lots more still to come our way today and tomorrow and Saturday, maybe a little bit more on Sunday, but most of it's going to cut off next week with the heat returning. We're going to look at that later on sunrise because right now, if you tune in with us this morning, the rain hasn't just arrived, hasn't arrived just yet here in Victoria. But we're going to look at that radar in just a second as well, because before the rain gets here, it's another warm and average summer morning and humid as well, sitting at 77 right now, but your dew point one degree off from that bringing you 96% humidity. So now I'm not really expecting any fog out there this morning because of the rain is kind of mixing some of the atmosphere right now and looking at that radar. Just look at all of that rain that's coming our way out of the Gulf this morning. In fact, I'm going to play your feature radar here as we go throughout later this uh, later today. What's going on is that we've been talking about this tropical wave that's out in the Atlantic and out in the Gulf uh, that has been out in the Atlantic and Gulf since light, uh, late last week. That has officially arrived here today. It's going to make landfall today. But what happened overnight last night, it actually strengthened a little bit in terms of wind speed. And now it is officially ramped up to a subtropical low. That does not mean it's going to be a tropical depression, a tropical storm, a hurricane. None of those. What's going to happen is it's just going to be a tad breezy wind gust up to maybe 40 miles an hour, 35 at times, and also with lots and lots of heavy rain, which is usually pretty normal with a tropical system. But looking at your future radar, this proves it. Look at all that rain that's coming our way going into the later morning, a little bit going into the mid afternoon. I think it's going to start dying down to widespreadness in the mid and late afternoon before most of it cuts off as we go into this evening. But looking at your rainfall totals, this is definitely what's normal with a uh, tropical system. It's actually very similar to what we saw barrel. Very very heavy rainfall totals up to three to five inches will be possible, maybe even six for some locally. That's why we have an alert days issued for today all the way through Saturday because the rain is going to continue a little bit going into this weekend. So please be careful of localized flooding that will be possible. Good news is no severe weather is expected, just a bunch of general thunderstorms. But coming our way into this weekend, the rain continues until the rain cuts off next week and the heat returns. And we're going to take a look at that later on sunrise.